Right here we're walking through a bog, absolutely covered in moose tracks. None of this is human tracks. Ordinarily I'd be walking in deep water here, maybe two feet. We used to go kayaking in here. It's not really possible now because you have all these mud bars. You can see this is a heavily used moose track. They usually don't come out until it starts getting dim in a few hours. I'm just trying to make my way over to Moosehead Lake, which is right there. That's a natural barrier between the bog and the lake. Just trying to find a way over. Finally, a place we can cut through. This wood is covering up all the sticky mud. Oh, she fell into it. And through the woods and Moosehead Lake is here. Doesn't actually look too low for the drought we're in. It looks very normal. Here's another bog. This pond doesn't look low at all. Our ducks aren't there. There used to always be ducks. Yeah, the water is pretty low. It's usually up to here. And there's a barrier between this bog. Water is really low over here. Only by a couple feet. But I used to be able to get a kayak in there. Another big teepee. And that is big enough to get inside if you needed shelter. This is the same bog we entered through, but we entered a few hundred feet down there. This is so unusual. There's never a beach here. It's usually water up there. See the lines on the rocks? You used to be able to get a kayak through right here. There's a little gap. Used to be able to kayak way down there and around the corner. Now there's an island here. Cause usually there'd be water up and through those plants. I don't think there was ever beavers here. I don't see their lodge. It's mostly just tons of moose. Well, it makes sense why it went down. It's literally just draining into the lake as the lake slowly evaporates. And look at this, there's even a second dam there. This is a complete natural dam. You can see by the evidence there is a trickle. And I don't know if you can tell, the bog is like six inches higher than the lake. Real slimy in here. Such nice sand. And you know it's low because uh, this used to be a good jumping rock right here. I used to jump off this all the time when the water was almost up to the top here. There's like two more bogs, a really, really tiny one that's more of a puddle and a pretty good size one. Then we're gonna go look at a state campground Assuming no one's there. It's a campground meant for boaters only. There's no 
actual trail leading to a road but you could always do what I did this beach here there is no road leading to this beach I had to cut through the woods to get to it unless you're by boat it's not easy it took about 40 minutes of walking through a swamp and it was relatively easy to what I expected because the water's low big old tree stump has literally been here forever Here we come up to the bog. It's usually just a puddle. And it's nothing now. Bunch of moose tracks. Completely dried up. Bunch of lumber. Because during storms, the water goes over this little natural barrier and it throws everything in here, all the junk from the lake. And here's the last bog for quite a ways. Still got a good amount of water. All these prints you're seeing are moose. Yeah, and there's a lot of water plants in there. That's their food. It's windy out, but yet the lake is so still. It used to be so choppy at some times in a kayak. A natural barrier. And the bog is slightly higher. All the bogs are slightly higher than the lake because it has that nice mud seal. Mud is good for sealing water out and this is acting like a small dam, just like the beavers use. I'm just gonna show this one campground. There's two more nearby if you walk down the shore, but Here's this one. It's access for boats. It's a state campground. They got the nice stairs here. Even have a seat carved in and to that log. That log has been there for like 20 years. Fell from right there. All these state campgrounds have an outhouse. It looks rickety, but that thing's still pretty strong. Whoever carved that has talent. Looks pretty good. Oh, nope. It doesn't. You don't want to sit on this. Oh, it's holding me. I could see these bolts starting to, like, go through the rotten wood as I sat on it. I remember here there's a garbage dump I want to check out. It is like pretty cool because this campground has been here for probably at least 50 years. There's a there's a dump where everyone dumps their old cans and bottles and some of them are pretty vintage old. Let's go check out the toilet. Nobody's been down here in a while. Look at this. You got spiders. Oh. As soon as the spider saw me, it dropped down to the ground and ran away. Now through the web I go. Yep, the spiders know when big animals are on the trail to get out of there. They fixed it. 
last time I was out here years ago, the vent was on the ground because a tree fell on it. A lock on the outside just to keep the bears out. Bag over the toilet paper to keep it dry because the rain does get in through the top. Let's go try to find that bottle dump. I could not find it. Instead, I eventually wound up at campsite too, which is really has a nice beach right down to the water. There's also an outhouse in there and it looks like a brand new picnic table. All right, we're gonna start walking back. Today is an awesome day. You don't get an 80 degree day too often up north when you're at the end of September. We probably have a three mile walk back to the logging road I parked on. No cell phone signal out here, so I can't read a map. I gotta go back the same way I came in. This tree is fun. It's got just the right amount of bounce for my weight. I remember that tree used to be annoying because you always had to walk under it. A couple years ago, it still had leaves on the end of it. This beach has the most interesting rocks. Look at that, a circle on each side. So many different colors weird shapes you can find a rock that looks like anything if you look hard enough so many flat rocks it's like a gold mine for someone who wants to skip rocks they are everywhere. And the water is so still. Oh wow, we got a bunch of skips right there. Only three that time. I know, this one's really flat. We should get a lot out of that one. Yeah, that got a lot, kind of heavy. Got one, kinda. This one's really thin. That was my fault, it hit the water crooked. Now she's crying, she thinks I threw food or something. Yep, she's still gonna look for it. She's even going swimming now for it. Got a sailboat approaching. Come here. The water here at this rock is currently deep enough to do a cannonball. It's actually pretty warm out. The water's not too bad either. Check it out, two loons. Oh, they just dove down to get some fish. 
is having a quick snack before we go back. It's about a two mile walk through here. There's a big, that's a smaller bog. And the giant ones behind us. It's a little place of woods here. Got about a two mile walk. The first part is treacherous, the first quarter mile, but that's only because it's all mud and you gotta walk on pieces of driftwood. But then the rest is mostly just a grown in logging road you can't drive down. This is the area I'm talking about. Got to walk on wood or you sink real deep. Doesn't matter for her, she's light. And back into the woods. I just found a pretty decent moose trail that's really wide and open. So we're just going to avoid the swamp altogether. Right now we're crossing a boundary. This is as close to the lake as they're allowed to log. We're now on logging property. All these prints you're seeing here, here, moose. I've just come to a big clearing, the same clearing we walked through to get there, except we enter the woods way down there, going through the swamp. I just figured out why the loggers didn't log up to those colored trees where they own. They didn't want to get their vehicles stuck in this, I guess. Because the trees only go on right now for 50 feet until their property line. I guess 50 feet worth of trees wasn't worth building a road through this. So right now I'm walking up on logs. Because you see this? You'll sink pretty deep and get your shoes sucked off by the mud. Got to step on just logs. See tons of moose tracks, very fresh. They're probably watching me right now. And this is the way the moose chose. Their way of getting out of here is much easier. And here we are finally up to the road. This isn't a road that tractor trailers took. This is a road that their excavator that cut down the trees and brought them to the truck used. You see, their excavators are so huge, it can drive over all these tree stumps. That's how high the clearance is. By the looks of it, This road here looks like it was used even this year, but the trees, that's like 10 years worth of tree growth, at least what I'm seeing there. There, that was cut down this year, just doing patch by patch. I wish I had a vehicle that could clear that rock, that's like two feet high. I'm going up into the clearing. Because that's where the moose go. I see their tracks. They come up this hill. Took me 10 minutes to get to this point. I know I'm in the right direction because I recognize a certain pile of sticks. It took me over an hour to plow through the woods. I feel stupid. Next time I'm just gonna follow the moose track. So I can see all their footprints right here in the mud. I know exactly where they're going. No, don't eat that! That means we're on the right trail. Hey! Pretty 
for anybody who thinks logging like this is bad for the earth, it's really not, other than the exhaust put off by the trucks. This all grows back in 40 years. The logging companies here either put seeds for new trees or occasionally in some places they'll leave a tree standing every few feet like they cut down 99% of them so that the few mature trees that they leave will drop seeds they log an area every 40 years where they cut down right here for now it's an awesome place for bears to hang out because what you see growing absolutely everywhere are raspberries and blackberries which the bears love after a few years they'll all die off when they get shaded by small trees Finally about to re-enter the woods at that pink flag. Come on! Come on! Come on! And now a nice flat walk back for the final mile of our trip. This part of the road is a bit more grown in with bushes because it's open and the sun gets down here. And this is the logging road that we drove up and we parked up here. It's passable, although in the middle of the street, I cut down about four trees to be able to get my way up here. From the main road right here, see how high this is? As it is, everything there, they're gentle plants. They're all soft. Won't hurt anything scraping against the bottom of the vehicle. It's like two feet high. I was able to drive over this, but yeah, you see here and there, something was like five feet tall. Cut down like four things. You see, this is what I cut down. Basically just this, a garbage tree by cutting down those few things, as soon as you get to right here, it opens right back up for like a mile. That got us a mile closer that we didn't have to walk. All right, everyone, I hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching.